So I'm going to be making some Cherokee fry bread. Right here it is. There's the skillet with a little bit of canola oil in it out back. And uh, if you want to see how I made this fry bread, it's right here. Check it out. So when making this fry bread, I start out with three cups of flour, all-purpose flour, and just a dash of salt. Dry ingredients there. And then baking powder, just about one and a half teaspoons. Stir all those in dry, uh, dry ingredients up and then add about one and a third cups of lukewarm to warm not quite hot but warm water and I mix it up with the fork till you start to get it mixed fairly well then just get your hands in there and mix it all up throw a little flour on a, a board of some sort and then just slap it right on there uh, add you a little more flour if you need to and then I also greased my hands a little bit so they don't get too sticky then roll it up into about the size of a golf ball and a little flour if needed you know it's your fry bread so uh, get you a rolling pin a little more flour if it's sticking like that and until you get a thin piece you don't want to be able to see through it but that's a nice fry bread right there let me tell you Cherokee fry bread welcome into the Oki smoking channel in the backyard of my outdoor kitchen today I'm gonna to be going ahead and cooking some fry bread this is Cherokee fry bread uh, right here in Oklahoma is the Cherokee Nation so I thought it would be a great uh, thing to do we are going to make some Indian tacos tonight but I'm just going to show you how to make the fried bread uh, because you can do a lot with this fried bread you can uh, add cinnamon add honey eat it by itself uh, it's just endless turn it into a, one of the most popular things in Indian taco but you saw how we created this uh, so let's go ahead and put it in here now uh, what I got here is just a little portable uh, two burner stove and I got a skillet that may be a little bit oversized but it's working and we got the temperature right at showing to be oh yeah 300 and almost 400 degrees I have it on low right now also check it out got the mile high uh, uh, guys a barbecue uh, magnet right here thanks for that Scott and let's go ahead and add some of this in here and let's see how this does Hopefully it comes out okay. There we go. And you can see how much that's puffing up. So we're going to go ahead and take a flip. Oh man, that smells great. It smells excellent. And yeah, I'm cooking this in canola oil. Uh, you can use vegetable oil if you'd like. Just going to kind of get it so it's brown here. And this little unit right here was only about 40 bucks at Walmart. I thought it'd be pretty cool. It sets right on my black stone with this lid. Uh, so I can cook right out back. Don't heat up the house. It's been over 100 degrees, so you can see that right there. Let's go ahead and we're going to place that right on this little uh, tray here so that it can drain. And I got some more. So let's go ahead and cook some more up here. Let's do a couple more. Look at it as it starts to really puff up. That's when you know it's about time to get ready to flip it. And I only got a little, I don't have a whole lot of grease in here. Probably about a, I don't know, half inch, maybe even less. Give it just another second. There, now that piece is puffing up. I think it's ready to turn. There's number two. And we'll do one more. Might want to kind of 
Put that under the grease. It might not have quite enough grease in there. actually decided to add just a little more grease then we're going to do one final one and see how it does once this heats up and it's, uh, it gets in a little deeper uh, but while I wait I'm going to test one of these that I've already got done here and see how that goes so here it is let's go ahead and it's still hot look at that oh it's hot see that so I'm just going to see how this is right here just plain <laughs> mm. that is so good oh we put you some uh, powdered sugar on it have a dessert honey jelly for breakfast oh my gosh let me go ahead and make one more in this deeper grease wow Cherokee fry bread right there folks Four ingredients, water, flour, a little bit of salt, baking powder. Yeah, you can see how that, um, I got more grease in, or oil in there now. It went ahead and sunk below there, so I think you need to probably have a little more in there and then let it rise up like that. That is uh, looking a little better than the first ones with a lower amount of oil in there and now it's it's actually floating in there so yeah that is perfect right like that so a little more grease than the first ones i had and i think you'll do a little better So I'm going to go ahead and fry. I got uh, several of these to do here. We're going to be making some Indian tacos uh, with them. And uh, go ahead, try some of this fry bread. It's really good. It's so easy. It's so quick. Um, you don't have to wait. You just go ahead and put it together, throw it in the oil, and you're good to go. And this little thing right here is quite outstanding. I didn't get this really to go camping, although if I ever do, uh, this will be great. You can fold it up. It, it'll become like a case you could take it to the lake or somewhere if you want and uh, go camping with it but just right out back when it's it's extremely hot outside and I can go ahead and uh, bring it right out here cook as I enjoy doing and uh, plus we have electric stoves so I like the fact of being able to have some some uh, propane or gas style stoves which this is running off of just a little propane cylinder right here and it says it'll last about an hour if both of these remain on high uh, but I only have one burner on right now and I don't have it on high so we'll update you or I'll update you later as uh, there's gonna be some more videos I'm sure cooked right here on this uh, pro propane little mini camp uh, two burner stove if you enjoy outdoor cooking like I do and uh, want to see more content like this be sure and uh, subscribe I appreciate it if you do and if you already have, thank you for that. And I will see you guys in the next video.